here in Mendoza. We're gonna go that way towards Wienerpa Winnipeg. Yay! Oh, they're having fun. Wish I was doing that. Here's my trailer. It's empty. Oh, never mind that other one. I want to be that guy over there. You see him in the background? Big fifth wheel and a boat. Another camper over there. Another camper over there. Nice. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Nice. I want to be that guy. I want to be any of those guys right now. Oh, even better. Even better. The other guy had a nicer boat, but that guy's got a nicer camper, so I guess it balances out. Fun times had by all. Summertime, right? Okay, so the only thing we have on our trailer back here is this. And that's not going anywhere. Let's get going. We have no plans yet, other than to go that way. It's a good thing that guy stopped to tighten his chains. <laughs> He pulled in here, and I was like, I was sitting here, I was, I was talking to Britt, uh, one of our renters just picked up our trailer and is uh, headed off on their trip, so we're just talking about that, and then I look at this guy, he pulls in beside me. All of his chains are so loose, they're like laying on the deck. All his freight was just sitting on his trailer for the most part, with chains hooked up onto it. pickup in here so that I could unload the truck into my pickup outside of the rain. That was, that was nice. So that's its spot. I keep it there even when the trailer's not here. So unfortunately I don't have any more work this week. That was the one load we had. Freight is slow this week apparently. It was better last week but last week I couldn't go because we were waiting on parts and stuff and uh, getting stuff done at home. Not much happened on the way up to Gillum. Uh, when I came to check on the truck, a few of the wires were all messed up in the back around by the drives there. I think I told you this already and I could fix them all up myself quite easily. But uh, yeah, not too much work this week. So we are going to be busy, 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 busy the rest of this month as long as we can find freight to pull. 
I'll probably only be stopping at home for resets and just going as hard as I can to make up for this. But we're going to enjoy this time at home now as, uh, you know, we won't have much home time throughout the rest of the month, but that's okay. That's okay. So our second renter has picked up the camper. We still haven't named the camper yet. It's still just Rockwood 2304 DS. But the uh, second renter has picked it up today. All went well. They're on their way to their campsite. They're probably almost there already. It's going to set up. Uh, they'll be back next week. I'll be on my next trip by then. Monday, I'm filming this on like, oh, what is today? Today's Thursday. So all the way on Monday, I have to pick up a load in Kenora. Going to Brainerd, and then I have a reload out of Shakopee, Minnesota, coming back home. So it's a nice little rounder to get me going. And then hopefully next week, uh, the, the, the load gods will have something more for me. It's what it is, right? It's just how it is. So we're going to make good use of this time at home and get some stuff done. At least we're going to say we're going to get stuff done, and then we might not get stuff done. But we're going to start off this time by saying we're going to get a lot done, and then we'll just see what happens. And we'll accept the results of whatever they are. Tomorrow, I pick up a new cooler that I bought. It's actually not a cooler, it's a fridge, but it looks like a cooler. Can't wait to show you it. It's a, uh, what's the brand again? <coughs> I'll, I'll show you in tomorrow's video. We'll do a little show and tell. I'm not doing an ad for them or anything, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. You truckers out there are probably going to like it. Uh, instead of just like a cooler, like this is a powered cooler that needs a cleaning, uh, but it just has fins in there, right? So it just keeps everything sort of, sort of cool. The cooler I bought now is an actual compressor fridge in the shape of a cooler. And it's going to fit right underneath my sleeper in the bunk. So I'm excited about that because I can change it to either the whole thing being a fridge, the whole thing being an actual freezer, or I can have it divided, have a freezer and a fridge. And it's just like having an actual fridge in the truck, but uh, in the shape of a cooler, right? I can stick it underneath the sleeper. It doesn't take up extra room. I can keep those drawers there. There is a cricket in here that's driving me crazy. Where are you? If you value your little cricket life, yeah, you, I would shut up. Now, I will find you and I will end you. Okay, he's a brave little sucker. <laughs> brave. All right. I mean, I'm a man of my word. Where are you? You're lucky I told my wife I'd be home 10 minutes ago already. I'm a generous man. I spared his life. We'll call him Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. If he knows what's best for him, he's gonna move out of my, my shop. By tomorrow morning. He's getting evicted. So yeah, the cooler is a little bit longer than this, but it's also just a little bit lower. This one didn't quite fit underneath my bunk. I always had to have it on the floor. It was in the way. Uh, so the next one should fit in. I measured it and everything. I'm looking forward to actually being able to take along food and uh, like freezer goods so that I can actually freeze in the truck. Is that, uh, even sandwich meat does not keep in there. So that's, that's no good. Jiminy, don't push your luck over there. Uh, I've also got a new GoPro to replace the GoPro that I lost last week. That's going to be, I can pick that up tomorrow. Uh, it's a GoPro Hero 8 again. Now what else is waiting there for me? Uh, the SD card for it. And, oh, whatever, we'll have a little show and tell tomorrow. Let's go home now though, let's go home. There's no work for me, I'm at least going to enjoy this time. And uh, be ready for when duty calls, because once duty calls and we get busy, we get busy. Sometimes you have a little lull like this. You have a little slow period. I don't let that fool you. It's coming. It's going to get very busy right away. Let's enjoy this time at home. Oh, I feel. 
I'm back. I'm back. That went quick, didn't it? Yeah, that went quick. Did you miss me? I missed you lots. So much. <laughs> One day you'll be big enough, I can take you to the shop with me. You can help me wash the truck. Oh, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, what was that? Is that your new noise? You want to show them your new noise? Your motorboat? No, he's tired. We're about to put him to bed. Everybody's tired. And Chevy.